Too bad. <laughs> all right. First, I have some flowers and I can't reach you all. Littering. <laughs> I'm gonna try doing that to my class. Yeah. Is that airmail? This is airmail. <laughs> Don't leave any. Thank you. Well, I should you avoid standing in front of that, huh? Well, I suppose I'm supposed to talk about sidewalk astronomy. Am I talking too loudly? No. Can you hear me back there? No. Okay. I can stand in the fire pit, huh? Okay. Well, I suppose the first thing I should say is that the sidewalk astronomers are astronomical entertainers by appointment to Her Majesty, the American public. But, you see, the notion of amateurs getting their telescopes out for the public has spread worldwide. I have an awful racket here. Do you guys hear all that stuff? Thank you very much. Oh, it's the wind. On this? Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Next thing we need here. Anyway, so we used to call ourselves the San Francisco Sidewalk Astronomers. We don't do that anymore because although we started in San Francisco, we spread all over the world. And uh, my view is that if the amateurs do not take the problem of getting telescopes out for the public, the public will never have a chance to see what the universe looks like. It has to be when I talk that it does that. Farther from my... Is that better? Yeah. Ooh, can you still hear it? Yeah. Ah, ah. All right. It's a real annoyance to me to hear it back over there. Anyway, I would kind of like to have you people ask me questions, but sometimes people ask me, how did the sidewalk astronomers get started? And that's because Bruce Sams... We used to call him Brucey, but he's now big enough to splash me against the wall. So nobody calls him Brucey anymore, but when he was nine years old and up to my nipples, he had a 12-inch telescope, seven and a half feet long, and that was a bigger telescope than any telescope in the San Francisco Amateur Club. And he was five years too young to join their club. He was nine, they would let him in when he's 14. And he had a bigger telescope than any of theirs, and he's taken the uh, astronomy class at the academy. He's taken the astronomy class at the Academy of Sciences twice already, and uh, his mother called me up and uh, said that he needs somebody to talk to about telescopes and about astronomy and she told me all these other things and so i sent another boy over to his house to establish a club and they insisted that i should be the third member so there were three of us in 1968 13 in 69 <laughs> 30 in 70 and like that it went anyway now we're scattered all over the world so we've dropped the term san francisco off of our name and right now our secretary is in southern california if you want to know where any of us will be call the 310 number the 310 number is pam reed and she's the secretary of the sidewalk astronomy she lives in whittier east of l.a and I don't know where I'll be. If I want to know where I'll be, I call the 310 number. <laughs> but from here, I think I go back to L.A., uh, uh, to Hollywood, on the uh, 26th, and then, after, and then I have to drive up to San Francisco, and then I'm off to South Carolina and Georgia. Anyway, uh, somebody once asked me when I was going into the... Uh, visitor center in Death Valley to give the slideshow. 
Somebody asked me, what's the connection between you and the rangers? Well, I said, it's just that we do the same thing. The rangers, enter, we entertain the visitors with telescopes, and the rangers entertain them with parks. Now, one time when we were in Death Valley with a 24-incher, two 18-inchers, a 16-incher, and some smaller stuff, one young man said to me that if we go to an observatory, we get to look through a single telescope at a single object, and that's the end of the evening. If we find you in Death Valley, you have nine telescopes on nine different objects, and if we want to see anything else, we have only to ask. And I said, damn it all, he's put it in words. <coughs> Now I need to say one thing about why we run these stupid things that are called Dobsonian telescopes. First of all, I should complain, you know, I did not do that. I am the one who made fun for years, for two decades, I made fun of calling telescopes by people's names. I used to say, Cassegrain, Schmassegrain, Moxertov, Schmoxertov, Schmidt. Schmidt. <laughs> anyway, of all the people who live on this planet who should not have had their names attached to a telescope, I am at the top of the list. Anyway, they just go like cannons. I was, I was given an award in the East Bay Astronomical Society years ago, and when they give you an award, they sweet talk you in front of God and everyone. And he kept referring to the Dobsonian Revolution, the Dobsonian Revolution. So when I got up, I said, all the previous revolutions were run with the cannons on Dobsonian mounds. <laughs>